Okay, have you set your New Year's resolution yet? A lot of yeah. folks actually never start because they're, it's hard to keep one all year long. It's very true. KPRC2 <laughs> Health reporter Haley Hernandez is promising a no-judgment zone right now. It's a safe space. Joining us right now with some advice on goals to set aside for the year and a healthy timeline. We can't do everything at once. Right, you think about doing it all year long yeah. and you're just immediately like, you don't want to do it, Stress right? <laughs> yeah, it's just too overwhelming yeah. to think about doing something every single day for mm -hmm. the next year. Uh, losing weight yeah, is one of those. One. Uh, people, you know, that's something that can be dependent on genetics, stress, many other factors. So the doctor I spoke to actually doesn't recommend making that your resolution because it can come at a cost of hurting your mental health and focusing too much on weight. So here's what she says instead. Focus on building healthy habits wow. and be specific. Two weeks is the time frame Nicole Bartek suggests making a resolution for, but it can change based on your goal. And it isn't even possible without having a very specific goal. For example, do you want to exercise more? That sounds nice, but here's a more specific and therefore more attainable goal. If you're like, hey, my goal was to try, you know, two new exercise classes this month, right? Then you could say, I really liked this one, so I want to go to three of those next month. If you want to learn a new language, but I would say, you know, like build a, build a two week goal and then add that two week goal, right? If you sort of met all of your little boxes, then you can extend or build. And if you aim to add a health food to your diet or you want to start taking a multivitamin, Bartek says don't start doing it every day. Try a couple times a week, then increase it to a few times in 10 days. Adding it in small increments is a better recipe for long term success. OK, we're going to get it 10 out of the next 12 days, right? And then you sort of build up and then it does become that habit where you're like, oh, I actually just am a person who, you know, takes my multivitamin every morning or remembers to take my blood pressure pill or, you know, whatever it is for that person. But if you say you're taking this every day for the rest of your life, that is a surefire way to say you're not going to start. So again, her timeline for trying to make a healthy change is tackling it in two week increments. Once you're successful at that, you can try doing it for the next month and so on. When the goal is a year, chances are you're going to feel burned out faster and never stick with it. So Daniela, what are we going to do for two weeks at a time? I need to drink more water, Haley. OK, we'll do it. Oh, that's a good one. That's yeah. a, that like, is a good one. Seriously, that's really smart advice. I always yeah. I drink coffee instead of water because I think like coffee has water in it. Yeah, but so, <laughs> that's not, <laughs> not the water that, I need. That's not how <laughs> that works. Well, it does. I mean, you're right. It does. Thank you, Haley.